Wireless charging has been a thing for a long time now, with it being commonly used for electronic toothbrushes, but now that phones are beginning to use it and there are loads of wireless charging pads available, with even IKEA jumping into the bandwagon recently, how does the technology actually work? Well it actually works through a process called electromagnetic induction. This is the same thing that NFC uses and I actually mentioned wireless charging in that video. Anyway, in the wireless charging pad there's a copper wire wrapped around an iron core. A magnet is then constantly changing its polarity gravity and is exposed to the wire which then creates an AC electronic magnetic field. This is totally safe for humans which is why it's totally fine to have them in wireless chargers. So basically this pushes the energy to the phone and no it's not the electrons that are passed over but instead the energy that they are producing because they are vibrating a lot. This current is then received by similar coils in the phone and is then converted from AC current to DC current which is then used by the phone. Basically all that is happening is the electrons in the phone are getting rearranged and moved into one direction. No not them DC as in DC you know direct current not the band people. Anyway moving on, by the time the current actually reaches the battery it's pretty much the same as if you were charging the phone by a wall plug. As for the different standards of wireless charging there isn't much of a difference between how they work other than resonance which allows for charging multiple phones at the same time and long distance charging as well. But as of now pretty much all the chargers you'll see will be QI or the wireless charging consortium or PMA or the Power Matters Alliance. But that's all anyway, be sure to like this video if you liked it and I'll see you all in the next one, bye.